So as you begin a discussion of the digestive system, uh, we know that the purpose of the digestive system is to break down food into simpler pieces that your body can use, uh, specifically small enough that the cell can absorb them and um, put them to use as building blocks for uh, building other parts of cells. I'm going to go through a couple of different activities here um, that should answer a lot of the questions in your review packet um, and give you a couple of different ideas of pictures uh, from um, the digestive system. So these are the seven basic um, true organs of the digestive system. Um, they're called the true organs because the food actually passes through them. Um, so if we were to start at the top, um, we know that your food um, begins in your mouth and um, then would go down through the esophagus into your stomach. Um, from there, it goes into the small intestine, from the small intestine into the large intestine, uh, past the rectum or through the rectum and um, through your anus out, um, out of your body. Mechanical digestion is generally um, what happens in your mouth, um, but it also happens to a certain extent in your stomach, and it's the physical breakdown of food into smaller pieces, while um, chemical digestion is the chemical breakdown of um, food into smaller particles, um, usually either using acids, bases, or um, some specific enzymes in your body. In general, this kind of goes without saying, the better food is mechanically broken down, the smaller the pieces are from the beginning, the quicker chemical uh, digestion can occur. So here's a picture that is similar to the one in your review packet and ones that you've seen in your book. I'm going to start with just the um, parts of the that are true structures. Um, so the first one that's listed here would be your esophagus. That's right here. Um, you've got a stomach over here. Uh, you've got the small intestine and the large intestine. So these four structures, at least of the ones listed on this page, are the only true structures. Everything else would be an accessory structure. The food doesn't pass through it, but it's really important for digestion. You know, the salivary glands are going to produce salivary amylase, um, and that's where uh, food is, that digests food in your mouth, uh, which is the first stage of digestion, and it always breaks down starches. Your liver is really important because it produces bile, and that bile is stored in your gallbladder, um, and then it's dumped into the beginning of your small intestine. The pancreas is important for a number of reasons throughout your whole body. Um, it produces hormones that are very important for digestion. It specifically makes um, some enzymes for your small intestine, and it produces a whole lot of sodium bicarbonate, which is going to change the, um, your food into a very basic um, mixture. Here's a similar picture, just looking at different um, structures. Um, your epiglottis is the, the tube that's going to, or sorry, the little flap that's going to prevent the food from going down um, into your pharynx, but is going to um, allow it to go down your small and or through the um, through your esophagus. Excuse me. Um, this is the pyloric sphincter. That's the sphincter or the muscle that's at the end of your uh, stomach right here and will either allow food to go into your small intestine or keep it in your stomach. Uh, the duodenum is the beginning part of your small intestine, really important because you've got the liver and the gallbladder and your um, pancreas that are all um, having an effect on the duodenum. You've got your appendix, which is um, that little um, flap that's hanging off the end where your small intestine meets your large intestine. And there's your rectum, which is what allows your food to, um, and waste to go out of your body. Um, the bile duct is very important because uh, it's the duct that's going to bring your bile from the bile or from the gallbladder, I'm sorry, into the small intestine. And uh, your diaphragm, which is really important for breathing, but it also separates um, your um, thoracic cavity um, from all of your digestive organs down here.